Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. Uh, this is my second part to this video on Fort Collins Old Town moving a uh, service so they can do a backyard and a basically kind of like a pergola overhang. Um, so we did a video just, um, I don't know how my SEO guy could link this. It was done just last Friday, but hopefully he'll see the trench work and link that video for me. Um, this is the dirt work that we buried we got inspected and we flagged it all the way across and then here's our new service we got a green tag from Fort Collins Power so we're re-energized I did an outlet there just for temp power for the guys on the site that big pergola is going to come over top come down on these pylons there's three of them and then a kitchen bar right here. And um, Fort Collins Power had to come today and I dug it up to here and then they dug it back by hand right here. And when they saw that, they went and got parts because it was sleeved. And so it was sleeved all the way over there where that dark spot is on the wall. And they were able to pull it back. I didn't know if they were gonna have to dig or splice but they were able to come back, get parts and run it up. And then I fed power. I don't have my dead front cover on yet because I still got to do some work, but this is energized. These are extra circuits I pulled underground in a one inch by three quarter later for my pylon. And this is the two inch that I did feeding it. And the rule was, is you can't have any power underneath a sunroom, a pergola, or an overhang, especially in this nature of 200 square foot. This is all gonna be cement. Though we were doing cement, that's the fire pit mark. I still had to be about 38 inches deep to keep my distance away from him coming at two foot underground here. Tomorrow, he's gonna to dig it. And all this ended up being the rest of it, 30 inches deep. This came in and out to later come up a pylon and get my switch leg back over to this box. We ran an extra conduit here because they want to end up doing an AC unit down the way. I wasn't able to trench across because the, because, um, the, the gas line is going to come from that fire pit to here and do a gas grill from here, come up and do a gas line across up to the front because they didn't want to kill all these trees. It was too difficult. And then now my inspectors require me to do an extra two ground rods on this structure there and there, though this is already my cold water wrapped all the way around the house and all the way in the dirt and all the way back up. And I have two ground rods here already. at about eight and a half foot apart. And I have an inter-system browning bridge bar here and the code does not require it on that structure, but common sense says it's right there. So I did one on the front of the house by the gas line um, also just to be courteous and um, yeah so I pulled a pull string here just in case I need to pull through some other wires because there's plenty of room left over though I have two odd in there that's my feed through lug with my bypass lever and um, yeah so our first phase is done we're going to bury this dirt right here that's my little Kubota I've had that three years I love that little tractor um, so yeah, if you're a homeowner trying to attempt this, um, there's a lot of sneaky code on that, especially when you have a service on a very small garage and the city will not let them pop a top and go up because the zoning's too tight. So they can't go up with an ADU. You saw our other videos where we did an ADU and she was trying to maybe go out and rebuild it and go wider and they won't let her either. So that's kind of a permanent structure. I made sure before we decided to put the power on that, that piece of wood will go away. That was just to hold the dirt for our power guys. Um, yeah, and that was only two foot deep. Utilities now is closer to three foot deep if it's new. So I'll keep you guys posted as we go along with this uh, video and that's kind of what we're doing right now. And um, if you're planning a hot tub in there, you better bond your mesh and your rebar or both or one. Uh, even if it's pavers, you gotta start putting a ground ring underneath. Um, but yeah, for you electricians, hopefully this gives you some good ideas on how to do some stuff. I know some of you local guys follow me. 
I don't care. Um, yeah, so these are cool jobs. I love this job. We're gonna end up doing all the rest of it later. And then inside, you know, doing possibly just a couple circuits for some outlets that she's missing in there. And I already pulled that underground too with each hot with its own neutral. And uh, you guys know that you electricians, you gotta watch 310.15B. Thanks guys for joining us. Have a good one.